Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to Seeky Air. Today we have a short but very informative video. This is part four of my videos about the Flight Planner tool in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And if you haven't seen those videos, there will be a link down below for all three of them. So, in this particular one, we're going to take a look at how to create custom waypoints. Let's uh, get started here. I'm just going to go through my usual workflow here, which is going to be selecting the aircraft. And here we have a list of all of the aircraft and we're going to be flying today the DHC2 Beaver and selecting that one. And then we're going to create our route here. So we're going to be taking off from uh, Vancouver Harbor and that's gonna be CYHC and it should be somewhere right here I had it I had this before so I have it already loaded in here and we're going to our destination today is gonna be a place called Green Lake right over here and that will be CBG2 and we're going to add that as our destination. All right, we already have it here, so select that as our destination. And we get a straight line here. So we're going to fill this with some custom waypoints and uh, we're going to also include some regular uh, nav aids along the way. What we can do is we can skip all the suggested routes and things like that here and we come into the map and let's select this one over here and we can right click on it and then right click on it and click on add and then just going to append it to our route here all right so once that is selected so we're going to place our cursor over the orange line here until it turns into a hand with a with an, in, with an index finger here and we're going to left click on it and then drag it to where we want that, our custom point to be placed and we're going to let go and then this menu appears with the recent or nearby um, nav navigational aids so what we want to do is just select the actual coordinates here as the custom waypoint so once we do that, the um, custom waypoint is created with the coordinates. So we can continue to do that. And again, placing the, the cursor over the orange line un until it turns into a finger with an index, um, with, until, it, until it turns into a hand with an index finger pointing up. And then we're gonna click and drag and place it where we want. And we just will go ahead and do the same thing. So I think you're getting you're getting it at this point. So we continue, and what we can do is just also add some uh, existing navigational aids here. Again, on this particular one, we want to right click on it. I'm sorry. Yeah, we want to right click on it, and then. Uh, at that waypoint and append it to the route and then we continue the same way we did before clicking and dragging and place it placing it where we want selecting it all right so you are already getting uh, a point here and, and then we when we're happy with it and when we're happy with it, we'll just save the flight plan. If there's any waypoints that you don't want, you can just click on that waypoint, right click on it, and then uh, you can go ahead and remove it, trash it like that. Once we're happy with our route here, we click on save flight plan. All right, we're just gonna call it custom flight plan over the Cascade Mountains and just go ahead and save it. Excellent. Now that we have our route here, select our uh, starting point here, our departure, 
which is going to be Vancouver Harbor. All right, so we are set. Uh, we are uh, on uh, Vancouver Harbor here on our DHC2 Beaver, and um, we're going to come into with a tablet, and we're going to load our flight plan, and we have it here custom plan over the cascades and we're gonna load it here and the flight plan gets loaded and we just want to make sure that it's all in here we can check that by going to the map and looking up and it's all in here so all our waypoints all our custom waypoints have been add it along the route here next thing is we're going to come in and we're going to uh, although we're not going to fly with ATC we're just going to do it anyway sometimes I find that if I don't take the step it messes up the whole uh, workflow so I'm going to click on add the flight plan and then we're going to send it to avionics and then you see that over here let me see moving closer over here to our garment and you see that the flight plan has been loaded if we uh, open up that ring you will see it on the map and the uh, coordinates have been uh, renamed flight plan 002 flight plan 001 over here so you can see if we go into the flight plan uh, we see we're starting at runway 25 on um, um, Vancouver Harbor and we see our dollar first waypoint uh, nav 8 that was added and then then our custom waypoints uh, we can see them over here so let's um, scroll down and make sure that all of the waypoints are there including our destination and it's right there excellent sometimes if you don't see all of the waypoints if they're not uh, added to the to the flight plan and on the, your avionics you may want to click this again click send to route again and it gets loaded so sometimes it takes a couple of times to to load it I'm not sure why it's just probably a bug for but for this time it, it did it correctly so we are happy with it and we are all set and our route is built into the f um, the avionics and we're ready to go so if we uh, use our uh, autopilot here if we set it it will follow that particular flight plan going through all of those custom waypoints all right my friends uh, I promised you that this was gonna be a short video and if you I would appreciate that if you like this video like this information uh, give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe it really helps our channel here and promote our cause which is uh, uh, promoting uh, our pet adoptions and we are uh, we um, promote um, organizations like Pilots to the Rescue which is an organization that flies uh, pets from overcrowded shelters to shelters where they can be saved and adopted so I really appreciate it, it helps our channel we build our subscriber base and um, you know we are um, we are really happy if you can have your support alright thank you very much and uh, I'll see you on the next one